in terms of um, kind of putting this out into an audience, I mean, obviously at animation, there's so much work that you put into it. I mean, what's the, what's kind of the best case scenario for you guys when you put this out? I mean, do you look at kind of awards, or you just hope that people are receptive to it and that it finds an audience somewhere? Yeah, I want people to go and enjoy it. I think. Uh, you know, it, it's all artifice when, when, when you make an animated movie. Nothing's real. Everything's built. Everything's designed. Um, but I don't want that to be a barrier to the story. In fact, I want it to be kind of um, compelling and enveloping. And, and I want kids and families to go and see this and just be drawn into the story and want to spend time with these characters. I don't think about anything beyond that when I'm starting other than I just want people to have a good time. Um, and really feel something. Yeah, with Paranorman and with um, Kubo, I thought you'd lucked out with like great cast, great voice cast and stuff. But then this one, you've kind of topped yourself again. I mean, how integral was it to have someone like you and Zach, and then by extension Zoe and Steve and all those guys to, to kind of bring the story to life? Because particularly for Hugh and Zach, their chemistry is fantastic, even yeah. though they probably weren't in the same room yeah, very yeah. much. I mean, but you get the sense that they're they're together and the friendship is is real. Yeah, I when you start these, you kind of draw up a, a list of your like top picks of who you want to go after, and because I wrote it as well when I'm writing, especially when I'm writing dialogue, I'm thinking of an actor saying the words and. Um, Everyone that I wanted, I got. I was very, very lucky. I mean, some of them we had to, you know, pursue for quite a while until we got them um, because they were so busy. Um, but yeah, I, I, it was Hugh's voice in my head when I was when I was writing Sir Lionel, and I actually the some of the early character designs I based on him. His Aussie accent or his his. Well, he does a better accent. English accent than I do, so, you know. <laughs> Me as well. <laughs> um, but someone like, I mean, someone like Zach, who is, in many of his roles before, is kind of larger than life. But in this, I mean, he is, but he's, he's got this great uh, kind of sweetness to him as yes. well. I mean, it kind of must have made him ideally ideal for it and perfect for it. Yeah, and I, I think what I liked about his comedy is that it comes from a place of vulnerability. Um, uh, there's a naivety to him and an an awkwardness as well, and and I definitely wanted that for this character that's that's never stepped out into the world before. It just seemed like a perfect fit. Um, it's, it's slightly off kilter with the movie, but there's been great success with animation more recently with with this the Amazing Spider-Man into the Spider Verse, which is very very different to what you do. Yeah. But when you see something like that and you see kind of I guess ingenuity, I mean, does that kind of help you raise your game in in the best possible way going forward? Yes. I mean, because it's just it was such an amazing movie and it's unlike anything we've seen before. But yeah. I can imagine, even though it's different for you. You, you you do like oh, it as yeah. an artist, but Absolutely. then obviously it's like right we've you know the oh yeah no I, I'm, been I'm thrilled it. by it. I, I haven't been that excited at an animated movie for a long time. Um, I that's what you hope for in the industry. You hope that everyone around you is is really pushing the boundaries. I always remember that when I first started working and um, in London as a story artist, and I'd walk into a room and everyone in the room was better than me. And, and that was so important to me progressing as an artist because you'd look over someone's shoulder and think, I've got to draw like that, or you know, I've got to think like that. Um, and that's the only way uh, the medium progresses. And I think right now, you know, we, we are in the middle of a, an animation renaissance that's truly exciting. And just finally on this one, I mean, if, if you got the perfect scenario, would you like to go back and, and make more movies with these characters or are you more interested in kind of going off into more original tales, if you like? I, <laughs> I always think that I'd, I want to do something new. I do like these characters, and I think, you know, hopefully everyone likes these characters, and maybe they do want to see further adventures. I'm not sure I want to I want to spend another five years with them. <laughs> maybe. Um, no, I do. I love them, and I think there's, there's plenty of potential stories there. I just hope people um, love them as much as I do. Yeah, I hope so too. Listen, thanks so much for your time. Thank Absolute you. Absolute pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!